Good day, Curious Dude here with another installment of a new bus. So this is Van Gogh. So let's take a closer look at Van Gogh. Van Gogh's a 1974 um, camper, Westphalia. And as you can see, I believe the color is called Brilliant Orange. And uh, it is in very good overall original condition. This bus was sold new, in fact, in the community in which we live and uh, in 1974. And it's had four owners. The first owners had it till about 74 and then it ended up with another person till about 77, 78. And then in the early 80s, uh, a fellow named John purchased it and John had it until I purchased it off of him. John and I have been in conversation about me purchasing the bus for a very long time. And uh, he's older now, and I was so pleased that one February evening he called and said, "No, it was, I was time for me to be the new caretaker." And so he never drove this in the winter, and that's a big deal where we live because uh, the salt and the potash on the roads just absolutely destroys metal. So this is a very clean uh, bus for the area of Canada in which we live, and it's a great restoration candidate for us. And I'm super pumped that we'll be able to give it another chance at a good life. The bus is known as Van Gogh. In fact, that's a name that John gave the bus and it's a name that will stick with it from here on forward. So what happened to Van Gogh? Pretty simple. Um, it busted an engine in 2007 and he parked it in his yard and put a tarp on it and it sat there ever since. Up until then, he only used it in the summers to go camping uh, throughout Western Canada and a few road trips. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so first thing, the front end. Uh, it has the <laughs> spare tire carrier on here and uh, there's a little thing here about the grain province of Saskatchewan and a few clues to some of the previous owners on there. Um, it's, uh, this is original paint, all this original paint, a little few rust spots, minor things, but a very, very original bus. And I have not cleaned it up. I've not washed it. I've not done one thing to the inside. So as you see our little tour around, uh, this is as we picked it up. So, orange and more orange. <laughs> uh, speaker holes were cut out at some many, many years ago uh, to add this beautiful uh, realistic cassette player, which I hope works. I'll be looking for some Credence on tape just to go with the vibe. Uh, original carpets are in here. And we can take a little look underneath here. And amazing, amazing condition. Um, of course, this wonderful plaid interior, um, all here. Uh, this is a headset, uh, I guess it never had headrests in this model. Um, so yeah, so this is, uh, um, all the pieces as should be are there. This is a cool thing, um, which I didn't understand, but it has this uh, kind of storage box here. And inside here is actually like, a, it's I guess you could use it for, it's insulated. You could use it for waste or you know put your cold drinks in there. It's like a little storage box. It's got a great little clasp on it. Uh, very cool, fits in. We've got all kinds of wonderful garbage in here. I've got, uh, uh, well, wonderful is maybe the wrong word choice there, but all kinds of trinkets and John always traveled with his dog and so he has that cover on there that was of course for his beloved dog that uh, traveled with him all those years as he explored. We'll get a much better look at the interior when we uh, go through the, the side door but uh, again this is as purchased and as park condition. Let's go around and uh, let's take a look uh, at the other side. A little dent here underneath but uh, no major Store. nothing scary yeah we'll go through there all right so same thing uh, all there uh, all very original all the data plate all that information's there um, you know it's dirty it's filthy um, I pulled out last night the original Bill Steen Jack is in here it was tucked up underneath where it should be um, you know um, Again, we'll take another look at here, but I mean, you can get you can get an idea for those of you that know buses. This is a this is a good bus. 
uh, really had a hard time finding any rust. It had some repair done years ago. There's a few pieces where there was rust started in the late 80s that he had repaired. So there's a couple little spots that I'll show you along the road, but it's all there. Uh, great old day, Cal. Okay, let's uh, let's get in that side door. Yeah, uh, down and then pull. There you go. And works just as it should. So here we go. This is 74. And so, like I said, orange and more orange. This is the rocker bed, of course. And as found, all kinds of interesting things in there. There's a, a side tent, all the poles and everything for there. There's the Westy stool. Um, the Westy stool. So in this model, and this is a bit new to me, but it has these two pods. So this pod here, of course, this is the sink underneath here. There's the sink in there. In the side here is where the water tank storage would be. There's some more storage on this side. And then underneath here, I think is originally where the spare tire would go. Um, it's actually in the back. But a really cool thing is um, this inflator. So this comes with a with the uh, space saver spare with the Volkswagen emblem on it, but it's actually a Coleman piece. Thought that was really cool. And uh, I've got the manual for that as well. So that tucks. Here is the stove unit, stove and fridge unit. So it's got a two burner stove and uh, you can let that down. And here's a drawer full of goodies. Um, lots of history in here. Um, you can see for yourself, but I'm gonna enjoy going through this to see um, all the details of the bus and its life. Yeah, there's some things in there. Okay, and of course the the fridge. And I don't know if this runs on electricity or propane, probably propane, um, but uh, nothing scary in there. And uh, yeah, this bus says no mice. Um, he did a great job at keeping it covered up and the screens and all the windows shut up and everything like that. So it's it's great. I don't know if the curtains are original, but they're copies of the original that were made years ago. All the screens are there. You know, all the cabinetry's there. Um, and this one too, if we slide this forward, excuse my video quality here, but um, this, this of course is the, the table comes up from here. Sorry, this is like the worst video ever. Okay, there we go. So the table comes up and there's a slot underneath and it's got an extension that comes out as well. So. Um, there we go so uh, yeah all there a cool thing um, back there we'll go take a look he added some hangers and some different things but here's something that was really neat if you look in the owner's manual you'll find that 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 is actually the super six that's actually the original fire extinguisher I'm gonna go ahead and say it probably needs a charge but uh, really cool that it's still there. All those original pieces are there. And I believe from what I have read, there was two, two camper models in 74. It's sort of like a deluxe. And I think this is kind of the deluxe. It's got the stove and the ice, you know, and, the, and all this paraphernalia as opposed to just having less pieces. So all there, you can see a little bit of wood uh, damage over there. That quarter window or that window, I could tell leaked a bit. So we'll take a look underneath, but. Uh, let's keep going around. Okay, um, these Jalousi windows, um, they're all there, all the screens, all the metalwork and seals, but they leaked years ago and there was a bit of rust on here and he had that repaired again back in the, little, I think it was in the early to mid eighties, late eighties. And so that's a little bit of a change. Let's go in the back here. Here, of course, the, this is the awning which he had for it the tent and of course being a 74 it has a access hatch thank goodness the last bus I had did not have that and that was an adventure I can tell you so back here um, really all that's in there right now it is a closet essentially but or a wardrobe but all that's in there right now is that space saver spare but all the cabinetry is there you know um, the moldings are separating but it's very very original uh, really cool up here. <laughs> There's the original bug screen. I think that would be the bug screen probably for the sl um, for the back. We'll go over the hatch area. 
There's a privacy, the orange, bright orange privacy curtain that would go in the front window and there's a spare set of, uh, set of other curtains that could go. So all that along with some other bits up there. So, you know, there's the wood. It's all in great shape, just great shape. Um, this side, um, you know, what can I say? Um, I don't think he's honestly washed it in 25 years. So it's gonna be interesting to document. I mean, just look at it with my fingers. Just like that, that's just paint and dust coming off. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this brightens up. I do expect it to pop out quite easily. Um, the color to come back. So this seal leaked. That's one thing to kind of watch for. And this was repaired years ago as well. So that gives you a little little tour, uh, tour around the outside. Let's take a look at the problem. So the problem was underneath here. So this is uh, 1800 dual carb. So those would be those um, PDSIT carburetors. Um, and uh, this is an air pump and there it has the auxiliary heater and the engine's busted. Um, you can watch, we'll have a video coming up as we diagnose it. Uh, based on what he told me, I really believe it probably dropped a valve. And so this needs to come out and we need to go completely through it. But this is an, you know, fundamentally a unrestored original bus and engine. So uh, I'm not sure which direction I'm going to do. Feel free to comment if uh, with your opinion. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking keeping it as stock as I can is uh, the right way to go with Van Gogh. But uh, I think it also would be great to have about a 100 horse instead of 75 horse because um, it is a big heavy bus to get moving around. But it's just such original condition. I want to try and do my best to keep it that way. Had a trailer hitch added on it sometime. Back bumper's all dented up and smashed up. But uh, but yeah, it's very original. I mean, the Bosch sticker's still on there. It hasn't been cooked off. I mean, even this, like that's, yeah, it's very original. So, um, yeah, very excited to be able to uh, to save this bus. This is a bus that I knew about when I was a kid and I used to walk by and see it. And I thought, oh wow, if the opportunity ever came to buy it, I'd sure love to save it and return it back to the road. So I feel ecstatic that I'm in that position. So there's the uh, propane tank uh, that would uh, service, I guess, obviously the stove and the refrigerator. So here's a cool thing about buying a bus in Western Canada. Uh, <laughs> that was never winter driven. Um, you know, this, I mean, this is solid. And uh, I actually, am, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, there's actually a factory part number on that beam um, that you can read. I actually see the yellow inspection marks. I mean, I'm sure those are original socks. We'll crawl under here a little bit just to show you um, a little bit more, but you know, there's, there's that frame and all the way back, all that original paint. Um, you know, underneath here can be a scary nightmare too. You know, underneath the inner rockers um, and how they can separate, you know, underneath where the door is uh, and all of that's uh, very solid. There's a little bit of surface rust going on a few areas, but you know, um, these can be just a horrific mess, but this is a real uh, clean bus. And I can see there's not a lot of mud packed up in there either. You know, he obviously, you know, he's, he took good care of it. And, um, you know, that care that he had is what's, you know, kept this bus uh, from being a rotten mess and, you know, being able to salvage. So there's that front cross member. They always pack and fill with mud. I mean, look at, I mean, the drain holes are still open. It's completely solid um, and clean. So I know I'm gonna buy a lottery ticket after uh, finding this bus because this is a this is a good one. Take a look back. We'll go back down here. Um, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's uh, let's pop the top. So, all right. So here's a better look. So more orange. Um, original canvas. It's all torn up and ripped and shredded but it's there and all the mechanisms work from what i can see you know nothing scary underneath here all these arms are complete 
they still have the roller those nylon bushings are on it they're not bent seals completely rotten but it's all there and uh, gives you a good sense of the paint you know that's you know that's very unexposed paint but real nice deep I wouldn't say nice I shouldn't say that it's a real bright deep orange so definitely be replacing that I think it might go with a different color and one that has a you know the bigger side windows in it but uh, you know it all works as it should here's that a uh, little bit of a additional molding on the side to be able to put a awning on so we'll get up underneath here Ugh. and I don't know if 74 or 73 is the first year for this proper full bed up here so this actually leverages out and then you've got a full bed up here he's got an additional foam up there and a few other things and then of course we can get up from here you can get it to the luggage rack uh, that's all there give you a little better look at the interior from this vantage point here um, and all the pieces and the bed works as it should Not true the bed doesn't work all right original top there and like the older Westie that I had there the 72 has that wonderful little side table so we'll just shut this up for the history um, somebody was a bit of a hunter it wasn't the original the original owner but BC I can see that's a Vancouver Canada that's I can't tell what that is Sioux Schwab Lakes BC uh, this is definitely Alberta Canada and that's uh, that is 1984 uh, US border uh, international peace border I believe is the decal so it's definitely made it to the States at some point in its life uh, and it's had a pretty uh, pretty soft life since it busted its engine up some seven years ago or some uh, sorry in 2007 um, so uh, there's a quick look around about what Van Gogh is all about and you can follow us as we uh, rescue this bus and return it to its former glory all right um, something kind of cool to show you so it came with the original manual and it's got the original owner's card in there as well and uh, something cool though I noticed when I was thumbing through this is that the maintenance records at the back are there so Reedy Motors, you know, uh, service 10, what is that, 1974, you know, November 6th, uh, had 23 miles on it, 875, etc. and looks like that maintenance log history was done all the way up to about 76, so I'm assuming it had a, uh, you know, change of ownership at that point, there's the, there's the original, you know, instructions about the camp mobile, um, you know, about how it works, um, how to operate it, and so forth. Some cool stuff. There's that picture I was telling you about the Super 6. So it's definitely the original fire extinguisher. And there's that uh, storage box trash container. So cool stuff. Fantastic. Manual for the high power, realistic stereo FM. Uh, and the Coleman and a, and a few other pieces that go along with it. Anyways, um, it gives you a little uh, flavor of uh, Van Gogh. And uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you uh, subscribe and watch as we save Van Gogh.